Russia's Orthodox monks are now making mozzarella. Their Italian cheese factory located on the pine-forested island of Volam, a bastion of Russian spiritual life for the better part of a millennium. Arti's Yunna Neal is there. Getting away from it all. The art of shutting out the frantic modern world and reconnecting with a simpler time. Valam Island, the biggest in the northern Russian Valam archipelago, certainly has you covered in those respects. Steeped in culture, history and nature, a healthy dose of spirituality is on offer too. And at the centre of it all is Valam Monastery, one of Russian Orthodoxy's most important sites. For hundreds of years, pilgrims have been coming from the mainland to the island, seeking a form of spiritual enlightenment, a feeding of the soul. But today we are in search of a different form of nourishment. Since August 2014, in response to Western sanctions over the crisis in Ukraine, Russia has banned agricultural imports from big markets. Hence, a product beloved by Russians, European cheese has become a rarity. So what's the answer? In this case, opting domestic production. Monks on Valam say the decision to create their own versions of Italian dairy favourites isn't political, however, but they're serious about it nonetheless. One of the brothers even travelled to Italy last year to study cheese-making techniques and to purchase the necessary equipment. But why Italian cheese, not French or British, for instance? We prayed a lot, and the Lord chose to arrange it this way. Five types are made from scratch on the island. Mozzarella, cacciata, smoked ricotta, stracchino, and another brand new recipe devised by the monks and an Italian cheese expert, the aptly named Monastico. So we found the mother load, a cellar full of Monastico cheese. So that means there's only one more thing for it to try it out. May I? This is what I've been waiting for all day. The best part of the trip. Grazie. Prego. That really does get the holy seal of approval. But how does it shape up against its continental cousins? Monastico is good enough to compete with Italian cheese. It can get even better and mature over a long period of time. The monks will use the cheese themselves and for visiting pilgrims, but plan to offer it for sale to a wider market in Russia in the future. And judging by the love and care that goes into the practice, even the cows which supply the milk or plate lullabies to relax them, those who end up with the finished product will be some satisfied customers. So there you have an Italian flavour mixed with Russian flair. And this is what you get. Everybody, cheese! Yunan O'Neill, RT, Valam Island.